everyone and uh, in this video i'm going to explain you my project email spam detection using machine learning and python this program detects if an email is spam or not first we import the standard library uh, here we use nlpk to import the stop words stop words are basically those words which uh, like a i m which do not have any useful information for uh, training models and predicting any useful say, predicting the values so we also import string because we are dealing with strings uh, now in google collab we need to use uh, this client support for uploading our csv file we upload the csv file and convert it to a data frame we then print the five rows of the data frame to check our data and start our pre-processing we see that in the data frame there are lots of uh, empty columns we need to remove those empty columns using the ilog function on the data set then we after removing we check again and now everything looking everything is looking fine but uh, we can't see it from the first five rows but there might be some duplicate values so we check for duplicate values using these kinds of code then we remove the duplicate values too using this code we have two duplicate values here these duplicate values can create problem in accuracy of the model now we download the software from nltk library and now we create a function to remove the punctuation and the software then we check uh, the text section of the, our data set after applying the function process text uh we basically convert the text to tokens so that we can apply our uh that uh, apply this uh func function so that we can convert it to a, a, a matrix of token and then after that we can only train our model because uh, our model won't understand text it needs to be converted into uh, vectors then after converting uh, the within this code we show a sample uh, how for these two sentences it will convert it to a, a matrix of tokens now we apply uh, this uh, code this function or this code to our main data frame in the column of text after converting this text into the matrix of tokens we split the data into 80 percent for training and 20 percent for testing then we see the shape of the our uh, matrix of tokens and we, we see that uh, there are five six nine six uh, rows and thirty seven thousand columns now we use the naive base classi classifier to train the model because uh, this model is suitable for classification with discrete features so something like a uh, word count for text uh, what count for text is exactly what we have here. Uh, let's say in, uh, in this uh, sentence there are three hello, and you can see the first sentence zero for first sentence and zero for the first word. There are three. It's occurring three times. Similarly, for the first sentence and fourth element zero one two three four for world is offering one time and five place occurring one time and word is occurring one time similarly you can also check for this so 
uh, in this our text column it is also converting in something similar like this and that's why we got so many rows and columns now we just need to input our training data and uh, our prediction from training data and train our model on those data sets then we just try to print the values and see if it's working fine now we uh, predict the values and check our accuracy of the model since we have a pretty good accuracy we don't need to re-evaluate our model 